They were making movies. But with us, it's a game of real numbers. Two straight wins, two first names, and one incredible bull rider. Mixed with a three-time world champion, makes for a million moments of mayhem. Now, from Wichita, Kansas, on Prime Network, across the world, it's the Acme Bull Riders Only Tour, stop number 10. Brought to you by Roper Shirts, the greatest looking shirt you'll ever wear, and by Original Coors. It ain't no ballpark, and it ain't no bullpen, but the bulls in the pen behind us are not warm enough with a pitcher. After 27 seasons, Nolan Ryan finally acclaimed the ado that he deserved so many years ago. But in less than a month, one man, Terry Don West, has now pulled together what it took Tough Hedeman 10 years to put together. Have we matched the kid against the master? The master with me is Gary LeFew, the world champion. Howdy, everybody. I'm Bob Tallman. And Gary, what we've done with Terry Don West coming into the fall is phenomenal. What Tough Hedeman has done in a decade is absolutely awesome. What are we going to do here tonight in Wichita? Well, it's definitely come down to a two-man race. Tough Hedeman, the old master, three-time world champion against the, the kid that's such a phenomenon, such a great bull rider. But I think what we got four rodeos left. It's going to come down to who's going to stay focused and uh, who can ride under pressure. Well, just a few days ago in San Diego, we had a chance to watch the greatest in the business. Now in Wichita, getting ready for Denver, on the way to Long Beach. This is what it was all about. One of the greatest bulls of all times in old white lightning, Terry Don West of Oklahoma not only mastered him, but he left the mound with better than the strikeout after strikeout. In eight seconds, he made a phenomenal bull ride to win the 10,000. Three out of four, first and a second. Terry Don West is at over 32,000. Tough eat on his tail, Aaron Seamus. Not with us tonight. Jim Sharp, Dan Wolf, get ready. This is the way it is. From the Bailey Hat Cam position, we have an opportunity to take a close look, nearly up the nostril, up 2,000 pounds of humpback, blue skin, beller, and beast. And you, the fans of Bull Riders Only on the tour with us, can stay with us for action. It's crunch time, and don't anybody move. We'll be back in Ride Some Bulls. Welcome back, everybody. Bob Tallman along with Gary LaFue on a hot, muggy Saturday night in the fall. We're talking about the Kansas Coliseum and who got rich in the first round, who got rich with Roper in the Roper highlights. This is the way it was. We're going to start out in South Texas. I'm sure the humidity is strong there tonight. Gary Richards, that's where he comes from. Jimmy Carruthers from just down the road brought him a nice little bull. Here's the daddy to about six others in the herd that he brought tonight. What did Richards do? Rip down. He's going to take the money right out of the pocket with a 79. Give a little wobble knee there, cowboy. That's Houston style. But here comes his partner. This is not T for Texas, but Tulsa, the twister, Irvin Williams. He said, I got to beat my bro. I'm going to do it right here. And he did. The bull got to whip it and got wild. Irvin got the money. 76 points. That's the way it ought to be with a new haircut. This man was the king at the Cheyenne Frontier Days in 1993, Jimmy Morris. Yes, the muscle bound boy, 6'2 at 180. Bull said to us, blow a stop for you to get off, and he'll give you 79. That's the way it was. The qualifiers out of the second round. Scott Birch, Jerome Davis, Barry Gullo, and Jimmy Morris. Now, we're going to throw in there the Gary Richards, two sellers, Todd Steinbach, Raymond Wessel, Irvin, we've talked about him. What are you going to do on the Coors scoreboard when you look at Scott Brady, Adam Carrillo, Michael Gaffney, Buddy Golden, Dax Lackey? These guys are seated, along with Erickson from Oklahoma, Rule from Colorado, Standard from California, Hudiman. Hedeman comes from Texas, and Terry Don West comes from Oklahoma. It's the Tough and Terry show. There's more of that to come. When we talk about West and Hedeman, Hedeman three-time, the champion has earned $26,000. He's one of the all-time money winners of the Bull Riders Only Tour. But Terry Don West, four out of five shows, he's won three firsts and a second. But he's the first man to win two of them back-to-back, -back, $10,000 on a Saturday night in two weeks. Let's go to the master and the CEO of Bull Riders Only, who knows the story better than anybody else, Shaw Sullivan. Terry Don West has been the first guy to win two events in a row. He's been the first guy to win three events in one season. He's already got the record for most money earned in a bull riders only season, and it's because of his technique. If we take a look right now at his Anaheim ride, I'll tell you why. Terry is on a very rank animal right here, and he gets into some trouble. That's not so unusual. He gets into the well. Now, the problem is 
getting out of that well and still being able to stay on the animal. Right here, he's in trouble. He makes a big move to get out of there, but as that bull continues to buck very hard, he has to try to reach way out over this bull, get up on his legs, and make a move over there. Now watch, he does that, and at the same instant starts spurring the bull. This is not done. Normal bull riders just don't recover from that situation, much less come out of it as aggressive as he did and start spurring. The only problem Terry Don West has is he can't get off without getting crunched. Well, you're right there, John. I think that really might be what's going to determine the championship between him and Tuff Hiedemann. The thing about Tuff Hiedemann is Tuff Hiedemann's won three world championships. Tuff Hiedemann is focused, and Tuff Hiedemann has been there. The ability to stay focused under pressure determines championships. No one, I believe, does it better than Tuff Hiedemann. Here in the final round at San Diego, there's one thing I think Tuff Hiedemann, no one comes close to doing what he does about getting up on that front end. Now watch as this bull is bucking. As he comes up in that front end, watch him move up over that front end, hold that post position, get the big arch when he comes. Look at right here. Come, not as he over the front end, but his hand is maybe a foot behind him. That is how far you've got to climb up on the front end to ride rank bulls. Nobody does it better than Tuff Hiedemann. And I think in the long run, that's going to determine the world championship between him and Terry Don West. Who are the masters that are going to make the marks tonight? Ken Henry, a happy Texas, and his partner, Chris Horton. Those are the judges. But who is going to save the bacon? It's Louis, the driver, Lloyd Ketchum. Ryan Byrne, the Canadian. That's the way it is on the dead work. Don't anybody move. We're going to ride home. Welcome back to the Kansas Coliseum, everybody. Bob Tallman along with Gary LaFue and Stu Sellers from Tennessee. This is the bull from Jimmy Carruthers from Roxbury, Kansas. They call him the Terminator. Yes, sir. Stu, he's got a good one going on this big yellow bull. Moving into that spin. Got right in there where he wants to get. Yeah, he's in the clubhouse. Remember, we're talking about a score in the second round. Get you a shot at the third round. That's the way it's going to be. Now, the Here's the Southern California bull rider, a veteran. He rode the infamous Mr. T at Cheyenne Wild. All right, let's go to California with Marty Stannard. Marty Stannard's got a handful. He was seated in the first round. He didn't have to get on one, so he's fresh and ready. Watch this. Rodeo news from the David Daly Rodeo Company. He's getting the scatter camp that he wanted. Oh, he's got a handful right here. That bull's kind of jumping away from him, trying to slide him back off that rope. Uh, there again, we don't know whether he made the whistle. The judges carry a stopwatch. If it comes down on eight before when he comes loose, he'll get a marking. Otherwise, it's going to be on to the next rodeo. I'm always worried about Marty going to hurt his face after he gets off of one of these, but uh, let's just see if we can get him a score. He's watching our judges. Are we going to get him a mark? Does he get a shot at the third one? He's one of the seated guys that you saw on that course scoreboard when we came in. All right, now let's go to Mr. Gullo. Barry Gullo qualified out of the first round. Basically, you'd say he comes in here as an unknown. But he wrote Big Chill. He was in there at 78 points on the Bailey Rodeo Company's bull in the first one. He's back with David Bailey, number eight. Eight ball, and this is a black spot. And it's a hit buck. Hey, who is this kid? Uh, he jumped out and put a good bull ride on in that first go round, and this kid is showing he might be here to stay. Both ways, both ways, to the right, to the left, up and down, lots of hump and lots of drop. Oh, well, I thought he was just a kid, but he's got a little hair messing up there. That's this, uh, he might have been around a while, but he's got some ability. Young and fun, and he is ready to rock and roll. He said, give me a new rope for shirt and a big black hat. I'll show you what we're going to do. 80 points. He's going to set him afire in Kansas tonight. Uh, let's see what we get done. He's two for two tonight. When you talk about California, the ninth-ranked man in the world, here is a guy who is way late in his life to be as good as he is. Mr. Justin the bull from David Bailey. Buddy is the man I'm talking about from California. Yes, sir, and probably the most improved rider on the tour. He's got better every year. He's really riding ranked bulls. He's top sitting ninth for the world championship. Bulls starting to slow down a little bit with uh -oh. him there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey, he said it ain't over. Do something. Ryan Byrne moves in. Lloyd Ketchum is right there to save if it works. Oh, ha. unorthodox in every way you can think about it. 
68 points with an option. If they're going to do any good for him, maybe they'll give him another one. Gary, this man gets a lot of headlines from the banks and Chuck calls the home of Mikey Erickson. He's one of the 10 seated that comes in out of the first round not having the right one. Tonight, as he fills in on that top 10 position, Batman number 180 from the David Bay Rodeo Company, Company Bowl is called Batman. Okie Bull Rider on an Okie Bull in Kansas country from the land of Oz be good to him. You bet. Mike's riding at 75 oh, yeah. this year, and that is really good for this Mike yeah. Coming around that corner, oh, he's a little behind off that rope. Anytime you see daylight get between the rider and that rope, they're not going to last very long. Well, he's going to get a butt busting out of the deal, and it came from just exactly what you said. The bull got ahead of him. He got on a 45 degree tilt, and you get tilted, yeah, they're going to wilt you. <laughs> tilt brings wilt, and wilt brings oh, yeah. no good. I'm looking at an 80. Mr. Gullo is going to make the headlines here. The horse of America's shirt. The two drinking fella from Tennessee is second to 70. I own one myself. Steinbach. I keep wanting to make this guy a doctor, a surgeon, a lawyer, or something else with a name like that. The toy tiger. Hey, join us at the show at Wichita Falls. Oh, no. What happened? Well, it's, uh, it's timing. It's timing. He just he looked like he was a little psyched up, and he moved before the bull did. He just, uh, you got to wait for them bulls to move and, and get in sync with them. Todd was just a little out of sync. and After the first round, he might have been a little overconfident because he was back here prancing and a dancing and a weaving and a bobbing behind the pen, feeling too good. Look at the rip he took on his head right there. I think what happened, it looked like he moved his body over the front end, but he never stood up. He never got any daylight under him, and that's, that's going to keep you a foot farther back off the front end. That'll jerk the juice out of the bubble gum right there, and it's his. We've seen Tough Hedeman in the uh, in the comparison earlier. Not only does he move up above his rope, but sometimes even a foot in front of his rope, and that's how far you got to get on, on rank bull. Well, I want to say something about the next bull rider. This is Raymond Wessel from Cedar Point, Kansas. And we've been calling him the farm boy Raymond from the Russell. Kansas country in the land of Oz, but he said, Cedar Point, Kansas. He said, I'm an everyday cowboy. I ride a horse. Ladies, wait a second, that was my fault. Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to watch a cowboy from the great state of Kansas. Cedar Point is home. This is Ray Wessel. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kansas Cowboy Rider is the Cedar Point Kansas Cowboy Rider. Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to watch a cowboy from the great state of Kansas. Cedar Point is home. This is Ray Wessel. And we're home. Bull is time number 33, old Ron. What's he doing right here, buddy? Well, this is what we call the wrap. This is what we hang on to. And uh, well, it's like an old rope that needs a little adjusting. He's going to slide it over there and adjust it. Now, an old rope, and he's got to adjust it. What are we talking about from a layman's turn? Well, you're, you're, what he's doing here is you've got 1,800 pounds of hump and horn here and a lot of power. So they rosin this rope real good. They're real sticky rosin in the hand holes and the coming across the hand. Because you, if you don't have that rosin on there, the power of the bull will jerk that rope through your hand. So it's real sticky. And then if you come around your hand, you see he pulls it tight. Some guys will even run it out of the finger, which is what we call a suicide wrap. When you turn your hand up on that, that binds it. If you get bucked off, there's a real good chance that you're going to hang up. Don't talk about it. But on the positive side is that bull, even though it gets a, pulls a lot of power on you, that rope is not going to come out of your hand. Sounds like a wreck in the making. Come on right here, Raymond. Uh oh uh oh Now his hand blew out of there all right. Well, that's because his butt blew out. Okay, so your there body's going to no take you out of that. Well, as we talk about an eight score for Barry Gullo, the youngster that just showed up is going to be in the lead. We're talking about 80s and 70s. See that daylight coming about behind that rope? Yep. Whenever you get back there, that's the power zone. That's, that's the bull's territory. you got to stay out of there. Well, the next territory we're going to come back to is more of the second round, Ladies trying to be in the 90s. We've While we're in Kansas from the Coliseum in Wichita, we'll be back with more. Welcome back, everybody, and I want to talk about the 24th of October. Hey, if you don't have a pencil, get ready to write that number down. I'll show it to you again a little bit later, but Chicago, Illinois, we're going to be at Rosemont. Want to be with us? You want to see the Bull Riders only crunch time? You need to be there live. If not, stay with us right here on the network. This man's going to be there, Irvin Williams. Again, Tulsa if you want to catch the Sammy games. Andrews has got him a bad cat called Tumbleweed, number 129. This is one of them all star bulls. Be sure to the Prime Network. We drive on them, they ride them. What can you do to be 80? That would tie him with Barry Gullo. 85. Irvin Williams in the first round had no problem with it. 
He was one of the high-line cowboys that we talked about and he was all in 86 on Sammy Adams as Bandolero. If he can ride Bandolero, Gary LeFeu, he can ride anything and this all-star Chevy Cat shouldn't get away from him. Well, to give you a, to give you a, a clue of what these Chevy all-star bulls are, the bull either has to be unridden or have had an average marking of 90 on him. You know, and that out of 500 bulls we bucked at this series, the there's only been man, 14 man. bulls that have qualified for a Chevy All-Star Truck Bull. So that is the cream of the crop of the bull world, the great athletes of the bull world. All right, That's well, Urban's right. getting out of I want to talk about some statistics for a minute to make a lot of sense. Urban, Urban Williams, Williams is the kind of guy we talk, we talk about being streaky, but 11 out of 25, $4,000 plus, you've got to think about his 1993 season against his career. He's three for eight. When you back that out of there, Texas. the Bulls have been so getting the better of him, and he had not won enough money to buy gas to get out of Tulsa. <laughs> so, if Urban Williams is going to make his move with the ball of the year, he needs to do it right now, tonight, in the Kansas Coliseum. Or Chicago's not going to make much to him. He'll never make it when we get to Long Beach for the finals in November. Well, you're right there, but uh, to to like we said earlier, Irvin can ride well, anybody's bull at any given time. This is a tricky Let's do it. All right. Come on. Let's start it here. No. Oh. That second jump move with his left hand out over the top of his head it looked awful good to me, but maybe you overemphasize. Well, it's that, it's that consistency that keeps taking these leaders to the top of this game because these bulls are tough. Bad dog, no dog, hot dog gone. Mustard's on the ground, and it's history for Irvin Williams. The it's the Dax man, Texas, the hotshot kid, Mr. Lackey. Butterfly Joe from story. Sammy Andrews. The story. Now, what can you do with this guy? Seven out of nine, he's riding awful good. He's winning $5,000, 179 points. He's at the break point. Here is the time that this rookie has to make his move. He's been good. We've jacked him up. We've talked about him. But if he's going to make a big move, he's the first man to win two events in a row. The first man to win three events in one season. He's still dragging down the bottom half. Well, the thing of it is, Dax is still riding up with the top of the game. Good pull of draws right here. But if he stays and keeps riding like he's riding, he's riding at 79% of the ball. That other way on him. About a second too early. And he was doing excellent. Well, those old bulls, they'll feel you. They, if you move a little too far down in there, they're going to reverse it on you. And then you got to get back over that front end. Hey, folks, this it isn't good at this point. The bulls are in the lead. We've only rode three out of this second round so far. We rode the first five in a row in the first round. Go with Richard Drew. Red heats the ball from Sammy Andrews. Coming out of the King of the Cowboys. Do it to him, Richard. Here's the lead man. Hustle around him. Uh oh. That's what we call cutting the corner. When them bulls turn back away from your hand, you got to move straight forward over the front end, get out over that hump, and let your legs carry your body around into that spin. If you drop over in there, there's either well down there, you have to make a big move out, and that can get you thrown out the outside. Well, real quick, then, the Swamo, I'd hate to be on his fencing crew come Monday morning because he's going to make him work a little harder. This guy's got a plastic pipe fencing company, fiberglass fencing company, and uh, no money in Kansas on a Saturday night means for a tough morning on the job come Monday in Colorado. Stopper right here as he drops down in there. He's that right there as he yep. stops, drops down in. Yep. That is what we call cutting the corner. You drop your butt over in there, and then you got to have cut the job of getting it out of there. The hump turns to bump, and the bump will throw you plumb out of there, and that's exactly what happened. It's all right, but your life in the bull riding world is not over. Richard Rule will be back. Scott Redding for qualifying guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I've only seen this guy be thrown once in my entire life. Look at All the right. horns on this one, Bob. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I would like to uh, talk about something else, man. Scotty, <laughs> they call him the Hooter. He comes from Sammy Andros, but this man, this man from uh, Columbus, Montana, has probably got, oh, my God, on his mind. He's won 16,000, and he started out hot, but we can't keep him in there. Stay away from the Mantlers. Scott Reddy, right Look at here, look at here, look at here. Well, I think tonight is going to be starting yeah. out. He is one of the premier yeah. bull riders of the world. Look at yeah. here. His wife and baby are here to cheer him on. And that man boy from Montana said, I'm tired of the $900 a month wages. I need another $10,000 win. Look at him. He's one of the most mild, modest, mannered men from the mountain country in the big sky country of Montana. He'll ever meet.
and truly one of the ranked bull riders of the world. This guy stayed on the ranch too long because when he cracks out, he rides ranked bull. Look at this bull coming around. You've got to move out over that front end. No matter how big the horns are, you've got to move right out there between them. That's your zone. The zone between the rope and the flank is his territory. The territory between the rope and the horns is yours. So get out there. And boy, he did. Nice bull ride. And 86 points. Boyd Paul Hamas, our in-house announcer, is going to get our crowd in. Boy, what a nice crowd we've got here tonight. Montana goes to the lead. That's a nice way to do it. 86 and an 80, 78. Redding, Gullo, and Sellers. Well, the unknown rookie, Mr. Gullo, will keep you in there, Barry. Don't worry about it. Stewie Sellers from Tennessee, you're still holding on. But when you give Scott Redding that opportunity to get him a lead, watch out. Watch out. Oh, boy, he can do it to it. Now, think about it. Think about it. That's what he's trying to get on his mind. Jethro Bodine, the nickname they call him. The hillbilly from North Carolina, Archdale, where they live now. This is Jerome Davis. He was a college champion. He was a college champion. got a ride, a right one this time. Right here. Right. Yep, how you go, how you go. Well, Jerome is the guy that's been the unluckiest guy on the tour. He's, he's got into the second round and never has draw good, but I knew the night would be the night because they got tough bulls here, and this guy is one of the premier ranked bull riders in the world. Bar on his bull, they call him the helicopter from the Sammy Andrews Rodeo Company. Sammy Andrews comes from Bagwell, Texas. Watch this bull. He's a little slow starting, but once he gets out of the hump and jump and gets into the spin, this is where this kid got his mark made. Yes, sir, but a lot of hop skip, and I think Judges are going to take that into consideration. Oh, come on, don't be judging. Don't be judging. <laughs> well, I tell you what, the thing of it is, he's going to get in that third round because they're bucking a lot of guys off, and that's where he's going to shine. As Clyde Van Voorhis used to say, you can't keep a squirrel out of the trees in timber country. That's the way it works. Well, that'll put him in the number two spot with an 81. 86 is still in the lead. Jethro, you're all right at an 81. They're going to get you a third one. Now, let's get ready to do this. When we talk about, we've got an additional $10,000, Gary, that's a lot of money. I'm talking about the $10,000 on the line with the Acme Boot, tough enough for more. Pay to the bull rider. He has a the that's worth the most rides of the season. This is Terry Don West, and he's the man who's in the lead for Tough Enough yeah. Award. This is the man who's $32,000 plus to the good ahead of Tough Hedeman. And he rides him with ease with a bruised kidney and all. No problem. That's pale face of Sammy Andrews. Oh, this kid is phenomenal. What a, what a sensation. I got a question for you. How bad is a kidney, a bruised kidney, make it on a ride? That's tough. Think about it, folks. 77, a pair of the lucky numbers. Oklahoma, you're in the money. 86, 81, and an 80. Then we're into the 77s. Gary Don, you're four. Don't anybody move. Don't anybody move. We're going to come back and crunch some more. Welcome back, everybody. We're ready to ride them again. We're in the second round in the Kansas Coliseum in Wichita, Kansas. This is Bob Tom, along with the master, Gary LeFue. And Gary is the man that we're talking about now, not LeFue, but Gary Richards, Houston, Texas. He made it out of the first round. He's in there. This is Gino from Sammy Andrews. Oh, look at here. We got a good one going. If he can keep this going, it's going to be some point. No problem for Gary Richards. Oh, we ought to see a little leg shake here. <laughs> Michael Jordan's number, he can't go wrong there. Oh, 23 never hurt. He's anybody. one right away from but the watch him ride. He is so compact in the middle, he just fits and squats and squirrels. Oh, he's built perfect for bull riding, didn't he? With that front end come up, he gets on it now. Well, 84 points is not going to hurt him any. That's only two behind the leaders. Got ready to Montana's 86. 84 will put him in. 81 and an 80. He's in the top four. Oh, this is good, Gary to Gary. Uh, nice. Okay, 86, 84, 81. If you're not in the 80s, you're not going to win any money in the 90s. That's the way it is. Freddie Richardson Davis has changed a few things now. 
Whenever we do something like this, this is whenever Scott we do Burke. something like this, may be a rookie we only expect that you may not know him by face, but you get ready and watch him rise. Scotty jumped out of the first round, qualified. Now Sammy Andrews is popped by. He's got a bowling ball popped by. This, this rapid this 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 has got to be a He said he does. This is yeah. pretty impressive the first round, but uh, as the rounds go, the, the, the bulls get tougher. Yep. He got a taste of a little more power. Had okay. a flat spinning bull the first go around. It's okay. I'm not going to throw this kid out. He's going to be back. <laughs> Okay, as we talk about Mighty Whitey, the great bull that Terry Don West wrote the other day in San Diego to win all the money. Here's Mighty Spotty, a younger bull that's a brother, and we're talking about the family of genetics that Jimmy Morris is going to have to get by. Jimmy Morris, the Cheyenne champion. To that right, that's not his direction. Nope. We talked about it earlier. Bulls that go to the left or fit him, and bulls that go to the right, he's got a weakness there. Well, they rolled him up over his wrist, and his shoulder looked like it was cocked. Now, he did good in the first round. It's tough to come back and ride another one. That's only been about 20 minutes ago. Well, uh -huh. that's, that's true. When you got a, when you got an injury, it's tough, to, it's tough, especially when you're getting on three bulls. Well, Lloyd Ketchum's going to be the man from Miles City, Montana, now along with Ryan Byrne to the left on your screen. That it, He made the last save like he does. When you first do it, all right, let's go to the Wolf Pup. Now, he's going to make a difference on what Buddy Gold is going to have to do about if he gets on a rewrite or not. With the 68 at the bottom of the pack, we've only rode seven. Dan Wolf, Laramie, Wyoming, born and raised in Pendleton, Oregon, could make a lot of difference. Astro, this is be one of the Sammy Andrews Rodeo Company. Kids been hot. He's won a ten thousand dollar. He's added up another ten to make it twenty thousand four hundred. But in the last couple of weeks, his focus has been a little bit blurred, and we've been spanking his bottom. What about it? What's well, he need to do? I say that uh, he's a great kid. I like him, but he's, just, he's at the grow-up point. I don't know if he wants to cross that barrier or not. Well, young kids have, especially good-looking kids like that. There are a lot of young girls that are chasing them all the time. I knew you it's hard were. To, it's hard to stay focused when them women are coming at you like they do. I knew you were going to get into the hormone imbalance. But you got you got to get back and get focused and see the bull. Right the bull and nothing else. Pick him, pop, skip him. Right here. And this kid does have a ton of ability. There's no doubt about that. This bull's coming into his hand, and that is his tough direction. Oh, no, 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 no. Can he make it? That's what I'm, that's what I'm waiting to see. If he's qualified, he got lucky. Someplace in there, he weakened a little bit. His free arm was flopping, and he lost control of his upper body there in the last couple of seconds. Yeah, he quit, he quit getting over that front end. He got, he got strung out, got to trying to ride the bull on his arm. Starts him real good here. He's over that front end, and then so this little tiny hop skip is kind of like it's throwing a curveball at you. Yep. You're a hitter. It's a it kind of throws his timing off a little bit there. And right here as the bull comes up, instead of moving up on his legs, see how he rocks back on his butt there and gets back into that danger zone. Remember the zone between the rope and the flank is his zone. He's sliding way back in there. You need to be in that zone between the rope and that hump. Climb up on that front end. There's all the power back there. You got 1,500 pounds of force coming straight up at you and another 1,500 pounds dropping on you, and that don't fit. Well, he's in the right power position right now. He's qualified to go into the third round. Remember, he came out of the top 10 seated position, so he's all right. I just don't like to see a guy get off, take a kicking like that. No, sir, and he better be over that front end coming into that next round because the bulls get tougher yet. You can't hang it right on the same type of bulls. 76 points for Dan Wolf, and he is qualified. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been talking about Terry Don West and how easy he rode his first bull in the second round. Terry Don West is 77 points. He is qualified. But let me take a moment and brag on the man who's made it all worthwhile and had to be the challenge point. At $26,125, he's on his way in the BRCA to a million-dollar career in one of the bull rounds. This is the all-time great Tough Edeman. Tonight, he cruises in here just at the last minute, calm, cool, and collected, just like you see him on the billboards all over Texas and around America. Tough Edeman is also one of the stars that they have in the new movie with uh, Luke Perry in the story of Lane Frost's life. Tough Edeman is a bronc rider. He can rope, he can bulldog. He's one of the many famous Edeman kids that have been raised to be rodeo champions. Do not take anything away. Tough is tough, and Tough is the Look at the rolls. Yeah, he's got oh, it. Oh, he's testing him. Yes. Oh, I hope they mark him for what this bull yes. is worth. So that bull is tough to ride. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, this is what, what an effort. This is what Richard B. Hedeman is made out of. Boy, they didn't call him tough for nothing. That was 
That ball pulled everything but a blade on him. Well, the Tough Enough Award from the Acme Food Company for an extra $10,000. He is second. That evens him out now. He is still the leader to beat. This bull's got every oh. bad mood in the world, and this man handled it. Oh, that is, that is not 79. He should have been 99 in my book. Okay, we'll take it into 79. We've seen Terry Dawn and we've seen Tough, but we haven't seen it all. The cookies and the bacon point. We're putting the chips in it now. There's going to be more in the land of Oz. Bob Tomlin, Gary Luck, you, and don't you leave us. We're coming back. Welcoming you back to Kansas is one thing, but I want you to get ready as we welcome you on the 24th of October to Rosemont, Chicago, Illinois. You better write the number down, get your ticket. Don't be late. Be there or be square. Hello, Chicago. We're coming to your town. Let the wind blow. Let it get cold. What's going to happen right now, folks? Take a look at this. In the qualifying round, Scott Brady, the man from Montana, has drawn Blue Bonnet Palace. This bull has killed a guy in the last couple of years. Jerome Davis, you better have your hands full. I want to tell you what, Bodine, this bull can buck. He's a bucking bull of the year. Sir Barkley's perfect for Buddy Golden. Skulls, bodacious. Woo! The rookie has better be set. But if you're going to squeeze the swamp soup out of one, let Tough Hedeman do it with Alligator. Think about it. Stewie Sellers from Tennessee is in business. The little red man can buck. Terry Don West has drawn perfectly for what he needs. A pair of fives, number 55, Gunslinger. He's a dandy. And the wolf pup, he's drawn the bull that Sammy Andrews says may be the best of the ten to draw in this last round. Let's see how it works. Well, I got a generation gap here. Grandpa is holding grandson. Kansas, thank you so much for being such a great host. The Land of Oz is only one of the 48. In North America, the 15 United States is still the greatest place to live in the world. Get free, be an American, and do your thing. If it's riding bulls, let's do it right in the Kansas Coliseum. Competition. All right, everybody, it's Rip City time, the third and final round of $10,000. We're going to talk about Terry Don West it. and Tough Eatham. With the rookie, Barry Gold is going to start it off. Oklahoma City will not get the lines. It's bodacious. Now, when we talk about the bulls, there are 10 miraculous athletes in what that they can do. If there is going to be some 90s, we're going to see them tonight in this one. One of the ones to start it off. Oh, yeah, bull of the no. finals right here. That means he was the rankest bull Ladies in the world gentlemen. last year at the national finals. And just a little too much bull for the rookie right there. That's all right. Barry, don't you quit, son. He rolled his second round bull as good as anybody could, and you're going to get to see some more Barry Gullo. Well, the Bull Riders only tour, and not if we don't do it in 93. He'll be back in 94 when we get big nation nationwide. With competition. Okay. Right. Look at the, look at the rare and drop of this bull. This is where power comes in. As he comes up, Barry's just way too far back off that rope, and then he gets, comes up there and puts the power to him. That bull, Sam Andrews, told me tonight, no one's come to get on him since the 4th of July. They're that scared of him. Can you understand why that big yellow whale slam dunks a lot of guys? He threw Jim Sharp the hardest national finals last year. I thought they was going to have to bring in a record to pull him out of the ground. Well, let's see what we can do with Sir Barkley. This is Buddy Golden. We're going to Folsom, California, for the man who's ranked ninth in the world standings. Here's the mug and the bull. Sir Barkley, X-55. Now, Adam Carrillo with 90 points on this bull. But he goes and says, I'll see. He's one point in down the road. He's on the field with that hair. He's just one point in 800. He's a jump at the end of the RCA rodeo business. The bull riders only to him doing it. But he's a man of the top talent in the RCA rodeo business. Well, he's doing it. Well, he's doing it. This is the bull. He's doing it. 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 Oh, he's getting back. He's getting back. You can see it coming, couldn't you, Bob? Oh, you can't do that. you got to keep moving out over that hump. Gary, the last thing I would know is any expertise about how to ride bulls. I've watched 10 million of them buck. But when you see a guy's chest stick out and his shoulders flatten out behind, it is so difficult to read. Right here, he pulls him into his hand a little bit. He tries to cross the corner, but he's sitting flat on his butt. Watch yep. he comes up. See how he's sliding back towards that flank yep. area? That back end is going to the left. The front end or the front end's going to the left. The back end's going to the right. He's riding the wrong end of it. This is not the way I'd like to start this third round. Doggone it, but thanks for the credit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ed Dugan's right there to try to give him some sympathy, but it just doesn't work. Ladies and gentlemen, I mentioned a moment ago when we were looking at the highlight list of the third round that uh, this bull killed. A bull rider. About a year and a half ago. Scott Reddick. Scott Reddick. Come on. Yeah. 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 Oh, the heat. Let that bother him 
a bit. This oh. guy will bury his chin and get on him. He don't care what they've done. Now, that bull did not have the longer night that he could have. The national finals in Las Vegas were here, but he got him low. You that bet he is did. the key. You bet he did. Sam Andrews was a little scared yes, of that coming into this rodeo. He said this bull has not been bucked since, since the 4th of July Mark because the Cowboys are scared of him. But so he might have got a little fat and out of shape just like all of us. But the thing of it is that Scott moves out over that front end. He gets up in his zone. He ignores the horns when they come up at him because that's where you got to get. And does a great job. And he's in the clubhouse. They may not ride another bull in this performance. He's the first man to ride one out of three. 82 points. Columbus, Montana, you're hot. Scott Brennan, congratulations. The Palace Gut Road in Kansas. We're going to come back and ride some more in the top 10 in the Kansas Coliseum. Stay with us. Welcome back, everybody. I'm talking about McNichols Arena, Denver, Colorado, and the Rockies, not the Mountains of the Baseball team, even though I'm appreciative of both of what the Lord shares with us there. The Mile High Country. We're going to be there in a couple of days, and you better be with us. Hey, Colorado's greatest sports fans will be there. They've been with us every time. Now let's talk about the Wolf Pup. Danny Wolf, Laramie, Wyoming, and Golden Green Dagger. This is a bad cat. Look at here, look at here, look at here. He said he didn't like his goal, but he had to get on him. Look at the cry of Danny Wolf. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, man. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. They're on their feet in Kansas. They're loving it. The pup. These people are going wild, aren't they? Hey, if you're scared, say you're scared. If you're tough, say you're tough. If you can ride, 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 and you get it. Look at that bull jumping in your camp feet. Boy, he's been he getting his share of bulls going yeah, fit this year. buddy. <laughs> 89 points. Put the crunch on the man. Hey. Oh, look at this move he makes. No. The wolf pup is going to howl tonight. Prince. This when you're right, you're right. When you're wrong, you're this wrong. What you're hot, you're hot. This round. kid is you something else. It'll be the highest mark flag we've seen yet, 89-82. Now, it's Wyoming and Montana. Danny Wolf in the lead. It's got Bredding running second. Well, tough Edmund and Jerry Don West are going to have to win off the ketchup. I want to talk about the wild red man. The Wild Red Man and the Stewie Sellers. This is R4, David Bailey's. Been a long time coming for this kid from Tennessee, originally from Florida, to get into this third and final round. And he deserves a win. The little monkey man's going to see what he can do with him. Alexandria, Tennessee. This guy's a cattle breeder. He raises Franklin cattle. Buys and trades a lot of cows. He's a very solid individual. But this little bull has a reputation of being sloppy Joe one time, Rip City the next. Next time, and a nice cat to ride the third time. No guarantees of what this bull's going to do. His tracks are messed up. Yeah, but he's one of the top the bull ten bulls in the world. This is the bull that Tough Heatman won the finals go around, around on at the national finals. We can do it with Stu I mean, what a ride. We can do this it. bull, I, I believe, is a little too much bull for Stu Sellers. Uh, uh, don't don't be this. saying that. Now, start <laughs> get off that Well, I'm, I'm just I'm just uh, calling it like I see it. This is a cat. tough bull, and Stu rides a little too flat on his pockets to get by this bull. That's my prediction, and I'm sticking with so All right, go ahead. <laughs> you go with Stu, I'll go with I'll go with Warren. This is a bad move. I'm gonna let my shotgun mouth overload and the BB gun bunch because I want to see this little Tennessee smoke. Right. Right. Boy, get him some money. Oh, you bet. So do I. Right. Right. I know the bull is bad. He's bad. He's bad, He's bad. but he can be rode. You bet he can. Hey, hey, come on. Get your right foot in him. Right oh. foot in him. Too far back in that danger zone. That's what I was scared of there. He does not get up on his legs like Tough Heatman. He gets back in that, back there between that zone, between the rope and the flank. Okay, so okay, you're right. Watch, watch when he pulls. He starts pulling on his rope right here. Watch him slide back. See that puts a hump in his back, slides him off his rope. The back is going to the left, front end going to the right. You've got to get up and over that front end. He's going to get by that rope. So you're right again. <laughs> I just trying to make it work, but ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the next one. It's Outlaw Willie, Bucking Bull of the Year, number 363. Mr. Bodine, a minute ago, Jethro Davis. Jerome Davis. You want a prediction on this one? Nope. Watch him. This is what happened in Tampa. Look at this bull buck. He didn't give him the belt buckle at the national finals for the best bucking bull in the business. If he can't buck, and he did. It was an exemplification of man's talent against the degree of difficulty of a large farm animal. Every ounce of energy the good Lord has given him in his life, you will be able to 
This is a Chevy All-Star Bull, bull with the bullet from Archdale, North Carolina. Knows what he can do. You want to drive a Chevy truck? Well, you got to ride this bull to get one. What can you do when you match up a young talent who's not really seated yet in his athletic career against this bull outlaw Willie? The bull is not overrated by what we tell you and all the acclaims that he has earned in his career as a bucking bull. This kid could become somebody tonight. Gary left you. Oh, you bet. And this ain't the first time that he's rode a former goal, goal of the year. He rode the Playboy's gold for 93 points at Del Rio this year. I predict that Jerome, Ro Jerome Davis is going to ride this bull and show the people you what he's made said of. You almost Robinson, didn't you? I almost did. Well, I'll take that the pass. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Jerome Robinson rode a lot of great bulls and rodeo producer today. Jerome Davis. I don't know. He's just thrown a bull. Ride you a bull. Ride you a bull. How much is that? Look at that daylight. Look at that daylight. He gets up. Ladies and gentlemen, sports fans across the world, you are watching a bull ride from Kansas Coliseum. Oh. It's a Kansas the way it is supposed to be. If they don't get in the 90s on that one, there's not a 90 here. What that a bull, bull made ride. every move he could possibly make, Gary, had him thrown off at one jump, jumped right back underneath him, and this kid took advantage of it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be back in a minute and talk more about the bull ride. Watch out for the 90s. Can we do it? We're in there. Don't anybody move. Give me 30 seconds, and I got a more story for you. All right, as we welcome you back, I'm talking about the ride you saw just a moment ago. Jerome Davis, old Jethro, stuck it on him. I might have set myself up for the 90s, but Gary, this will give him every move that he had. He's got more moves than a chicken full of X lax and this kid rode him like Sin City. Look at there. And 92 points was the, was the result. Oh, yes. 92 big ones. Oh, man. I mean, that's the way it ought to be. Danny Wolf was one of the first right there. He said this just cost him a first, but he's going to give it to him. Oh. Remember what I talked about on the 24th of October. Rosemont, Chicago. Call that number at 312. Get your ticket and be there in the front row. Be a part of our life for about two and a half hours on Bull Riders Only. Acme's bringing us to town, and we're going to bring you the best in the business. Now, let's go to South Texas and Houston. Let's talk about Gary Richards and Playboy. Okay, Playboy, former bull of the year. We talked about uh, Jerome Davis riding him at Del Rio with 93 points on him, but Gary Davis, I mean, uh, Gary Richards got a little bit in his pockets to get by this rare and Don't say that. Don't say that. Sit up. Go on. Hey, he might make yes. a liar out of yes. him. He's yes. He's going to make a liar out yes. of him. Oh. Yes. Well, two out of three ain't bad, but I'm glad to see him ride him. Look well, excuse him. me. <laughs> As 10,000 people get on their feet, the wobble knees are not going to come this time. He's a hero. He is making the Olympic circle run the track, Mac. It's all yours. Number 23 has done it. Floyd Poe Hamas has done it. On oh, feet. They're going man. wild. I wouldn't have given 10 cents for his butt on this bull, but I'll he stuck you, it on him. <laughs> I'll give $10,000 to see his butt on him again. Oh, man. Let's see what they're going to do. They better get him a check. 91 points is what they're talking about. One point out of the lead. We're getting some booze out of the crowd on that one. Well, you just rode two bucket bulls of the year. Two kids, basically unknown, have done it with a 91-92. That 89 to Danny Wolf was looking good. Scott Redding's 82 to get by. The blue bonnet ballast we thought was great in the start round. But it's hot. Oh, man, let's come back to it. This is the show we've come down to. It's the alligator in the head of them. <laughs> then we're going to see the gunslinger and Terry Don. Alligator. What did he say when he drew him? He said, oh, no, oh, God, I don't like him. He ruined my friend Jim Sharp. And he said he's had him before himself. The bull called him, told him off, and called him. This bull is a little bit dangerous. But this is what Tough is made of. Tough is able to reach down inside himself. Time this and time again, look fear in the eye and overcome it. He this is one of the most himself. awesome athletes that you will ever meet in any sport in the, the world. Man. He's a gladiator. Go on, stay away from his head. Go on, go on, Tuffy, you got it handled. No problem. Oh, that bull moving away from him. That's one of the hardest to ride type of bulls in the business. He's to get even time, and he got even. Frontier Justice just took its toll. Ladies and gentlemen, three times the champion of the world. There is only one Tough Edelman meant to be, and he is. From the 80s and Donnie Gay to the 90s and Tough Edelman, he is the superstar. 90 points and a third rank point at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to get better. He was 92 in San Diego, 93 in Anaheim. We got a 91, 92, 93. 
Can he be 94 on Gunslinger? That's the bull number 55 of Bailey's TDW, Terry Don West. Truly one of the top 10 bulls in the world. He throwed Ted Noose off in the last go around at the national finals. He throwed, throwed Terry Don West off before. So this is gonna be a great matchup. He can, he can be over that 93 points if he rides this bull. I wanna tell you something about net values. He's earned 32,000, he can make it 42,000 right here. A man with a sore kidney. He's in a little trouble, but he's back in there in position. Oh, yes. Look at yes, this, look at SB 94. Oh. It's happening. Ladies and oh, gentlemen, man. you what are power he got watching. There. You are watching one of the greatest oncoming athletes out of the amateur ranks a couple of years ago that we've ever seen in that hurt. That kidney oh. is bruised and he hit right flat on his back on the left side where he didn't need to hit. Let's watch the replay and ride him again. Okay, oh. comes around that corner. He's up on them legs, gets around the corner good. Look at the oh, man. Man. Oh. oh, man. But when he come back around to come back into his hand, he strung him out a little yeah. bit there. Yeah. It's in the 90s. I'm going to come back with your score in a minute. Don't anybody move. Terry Don West is putting the power on him. It's a 90 score. He's in there. 90 for the 90s, and you're with us. Bob Tallman, professional rodeo announcer. Hey, 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 look at here. There's a slam of the bell. Now let's ride. Craig Shalane. He's got a handful tonight. Watch him, watch him, watch him, watch him. No, ready. Watch him. Oh. Capture the spirit in Roper Apparel. Sam's Town Hotel, Gambling Hall, and Bowling Center is the place to visit in Las Vegas. Enjoy fine dining in any of our five restaurants, great dancing, and Las Vegas' largest Western wear retail store, the Western Emporium. Then in your spare time, visit our bowling center. We offer state-of-the-art lanes, equipment, and professional service. Come take a new look at the Old West at Sam's Town Hotel, Gambling Hall, and Bowling Center in Las Vegas. There's nothing like it. With the Roper Ride of the Night, I'm with Jerome Davis. Jerome, you rode a lot of bulls for little money. What's it like to ride one for 10 grand? Uh, it feels really good. You know, you come to these things all year and you hope to draw good. I kind of draw at the bottom of the pen, and tonight they gave me the one I needed. So I got by him and 10,000 to the good. Let's tell us about the ride. Yeah, that bull's a great bucking bull. I've seen him for years. You know, I know when I had him. Here he is, he's going around the right. He's kind of got me lifted up there, trying to get back out over him. I get over him real good, and just the moment of him dropping, you know, just really trying to rock me up. I'm just trying to stay down right here. Well, a lot of hustle, a lot of try, and now a lot of cash. Back to the guys in the booth with the Wichita winner. Well, Bodine, you did it. You needed the money and you got it. That's Jethro, the kid Jerome Davis for $10,000. Quit calling him a kid and quit calling him a rookie. The boy got the money and the buckle and all the cookies in the cookie jar. You bet. Jerome Davis, we've said all along he's going to be one of the great ones. He had the toughest bull tonight. He rode him. He met the challenge. He's going to be around a while. Well, the Land of Oz was good if you were in the 90s. And for $10,000, which is a lot of money, let's talk about the standings. Jerome Davis at $10,000. I know his banker will be happy. I know a wife and five kids that are going to be real happy with a $4,100 check. A couple thousand dollars apiece to the Tough and Terry Don show. Hey, that just keeps him climbing the ladder. Terry Don at over $34,000. Tough's in there. Aaron and Jim weren't here, but the wolf, hey, he's got a new howl with $12,000. The Acme Bull Riders Only Series has been brought to you in part by Wrangler Jeans, our official bull rider jeans by Chevy Truck, our official truck that we drive. An award design medal, the official buckle of the Acme Bull Riders Only Series. Shirts provided by Roper Apparel. For Gary LaFew, this is Bob Tallman. It's the call of the Rockies and Denver, Colorado for the next Acme Bull Riders Tour Stop and more Bro Crunch Time.